Good morning. Um, welcome to our inaugural um, cardiology academic uh, lecture uh, series event. Um, as many of you know, I'm Ross Davies. I'm the head of continuing medical education and continuing professional development at the University of Ottawa Heart Institute. In previous years, we've held this as an academic uh, half day, but we thought this format in lieu of our regular cardiology rounds would be uh, uh, better attended. And the previous programs uh, are on the Heart Institute website and available on YouTube. And so I'd like you to welcome you to this event today. Uh, first, I'd like to thank uh, Amgen Canada and Boringer Ingelheim Canada uh, for their support of this uh, educational event. I'd also like to thank the In Motion Studio uh, for filming and producing uh, this website and YouTube product. Um, our uh, lectures today will be brought to you by Dr. Ruth McPherson of the Ottawa Heart Institute. She's the, the director of our lipid clinic. And she's going to talk about whether a cardiologist uh, should be prescribing the new PCSK9 inhibitors uh, for hyperlipidemia and coronary artery disease, uh, followed by Dr. M.L. Arnaud, uh, an endocrinologist at the Heart Institute Diabetes Clinic uh, from the uh, Ottawa Hospital. And she's going to talk about uh, new diabetic medications that cardiologists should prescribe based on recent clinical trials. Uh, and lastly, I welcome Mike Kekovich. He's the senior ethicist at the Ottawa Hospital, um, and he's going to talk about uh, the issue of medical aid in dying um, uh, at the Ottawa Hospital. Um, anyway, we, we look forward to this program. Uh, thank you very much, and I now invite Ruth McPherson to the podium.